Hi everyone, as you know we're now coming into October, we've used Bertie Bus throughout the summer, been on a few camping trips, we've also done a bit of work, there's always work to be done. I don't think we're going to be using it much more throughout the winter, so I guess I need to have a look at what else I need to be doing on this bus. Let's go have a closer look. Well as you know we did some patch panels at the back along the sills we did this front step we did the door on the other side the sliding door and the passenger door so if you can remember when I first got this van went round at one of the places where I said I need to sort out was here and I did stick a piece of plastic and some filler in just because you could see it through this um, wheel arch when you looked at it and it did look awful so now's the time come I think where well, I need to tackle this I'm not sure whether I'm going to need to go up here or whether it's just going to be the actual jack and point now I'd never jack this van up on this jack and point in a million years knowing the age of the van and it's never been replaced I'd go off the chassis somewhere now also when we look underneath you can see this has got like a double skin a second skin touch of the chassis goes out to the sill now I don't know what it's like underneath there obviously here it's a hole um, whether that someone jacked it on here or something or whether it's just rotted out but how did the water get in did it get in through the sill did it come in from the inside of the van and run down? We just don't know, do we? So I don't really know how bad anything is. I can see the back of the jack and point is broken there, like you can see it's broke out. Um, and here, obviously, that's the main chassis seems all right underneath, but we'll have a look at that. Now I've noticed some vans have this, some don't. One that's probably better so you can keep an eye on it, but I'm guessing that would keep a lot of the old water flying up off the wheel going up onto your chassis. That definitely needs to be checked out in there, don't it? Now, this looks like a, a belly pan, it's got some bolts in it, so I might see if I can remove that so I can look at the inside of the chassis and. Put some protection on it as we go. That's all you can do in it. But this is going to be the bit we tackle next. So I think that is completely shot. I might just see how much it is to buy one of those. Or whether to just make something up as I go. And you can see it's gone a bit under here on this like double skin pan but has the inside of that sill gone that's the thing with these you can't see inside the van because it had floor and down and seems like sheets of plywood hardwood I never pulled them up um, maybe I should but I didn't want to go too far, like I said, I wanted to use it. So I'm going to go from this way. If it's bad, it's bad, and then I'll just have to rip it all out. But I'm hoping I don't. So, obviously, there's that jack and point. You can see that bit of plastic in there now from the other side, what I shoved in to tidy up, which just goes to prove if you look at it from here you'd think yeah that's all right how easy it is to cover stuff up if you wanted to but like I say this is gonna have to be tackled I'm not sure I'm gonna get enough time right now to make a start on this but There is a couple of other places, but this is the next stage I think I'm at to get a start on 
this. Mm. Would have been quite thick metal there, wasn't it? But how bad is it going to be? I won't know until I take it off. Right, I'm going to keep poking around here and we'll see what we'll end up with. Poking here. Oh, look at that. Not liking that. Not liking that one bit, look. It's not looking good, is it? Like I say, I know this is just a like a cover panel, so it don't really matter about that. But what's the inside of this seal going to be like? Judging by that, there is no inside of the seal. No, I can put my hand in there. It's not good, is it? Is this why they were told get shot of that, mate? Let someone else have a money pit. But am I going to worry? I don't think so. I'll sort something out. I've got just got that to come off now, don't I? Here it comes. There you are, look. The filler. The piece of blue corrugated plastic I put in. I weren't kidding myself, but that is how bad it's getting. Wow, looks awful, doesn't it? That's where the inner, the actual inner seal is. There, one with this, there. It comes down there, then obviously it comes around to join up here, so I'll probably have to cut this off. Here we go. Thing is, you can't avoid it. It's got to be done, in it? Now, if I'd have found that, I'd have been moaning, but I even knew that was there. Because, like I said, I did this repair. Well, not a repair. I did a bodge, a cover-up job, so that it didn't look so bad on this corner. But obviously didn't look anything like that. No look at it. That is bad. Just a hunk of rust. Oh dear. Right, what I'm gonna do, probably said a minute ago, is find a spanner take off this belly pan because I want to have a look now underneath there and then I'll probably cut this back like I say some vehicles in there even got that on so I might even remove it completely seems alright in that area up to about here but that is bad news Now I've seen it, I'm going to have to do something about it. Well, I'm going to find a spanner and see if I can undo those. Started to remove this belly pan in the middle. And all under there seems okay, just a bit dry and some surface rust obviously. But I need to get it right off because one bolt is seized. There's a few of them been broken anyway. Or it's been took off before. But judging by that panel, it might even be a newer panel. But some of these vehicles don't even have them. 
anyway they're gonna have another go at the last bolt at the back I don't even mind if it snaps but it's always a pain in it bolts come undone and let's drop down let's get the set. there it is it's quite weighty actually okay. may even end up leaving that off who knows what we can see without getting the torch but what I've seen so far like I say just looks a little bit surface rust so to repair here and the other side by the looks that the chassis all seems fine the main rails which is good because that was what I was worried about what I was going to find under there now this one I'll probably end up having to cut it to get a good look in um, the inner sill seems like it's okay on that way so hopefully the floor will be alright looks alright from underneath surface rust which I will treat now I've got that pan off get a wire brush where I can now that's where I wish I had a great big warehouse or something workshop to get it in with a nice ramp hydraulic lift day eh? wouldn't that be cool I haven't so I'm gonna have to work here this might take me a bit of time to do this but I don't matter made a good start a bit more poking about so we can have a quick look if you can look at the main chassis look looks all right doesn't it like i say a bit of surface rust even the floor surface rust but okay you can see inside this cross member where it comes to this jack and point this is where my trouble is obviously under here so that's what I'm going to be sorting out. Well, temperature's dropping, and I ain't got long now before I need to go to work. See there, runs along here. Look, a new brake line. So that was changed at some point, not too long ago, by the looks of that. So hopefully the brakes have been looked after. It's about all I've got time for today, so I'm going to have to leave that. We made a good start. So if you'd like to see whether I get on or right with this, then hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If not, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.